Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. If we ever get some warm spring weather, you'll be able to uh, do all the things you need to do outdoors with mulch, topsoil and more, which, which Omni has tons of, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 is the phone number, the website omnitruevalue.com, and also Brought to you by our friends at Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs, whether you're getting your house decorated or you want to do this as a business, give them a call. Uh, they are at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106, and the website is liholidaylighting.com. Some of you uh, saw a cheap thrill with some snow flurries uh, this morning. Uh, across uh, parts of Long Island and even in the Hudson Valley and into, into Connecticut and a few places even in New Jersey. But uh, a cheap thrill is all it was. And the radar is uh, very quiet up and down the eastern seaboard and pretty much all the way back out uh, to the west. Very quiet across much of the U.S. today. And in fact, taking a look at the uh, satellite view, we uh, have this upper trough that is moving through now. There's some midday clouds here that extend from northern New England uh, down uh, into uh, Delaware and into southeastern Virginia. But just west of there, it's nice and sunny all the way back out through the Plain States. And we have really nothing major going on or even anything minor after uh, that uh, burst of severe weather uh, we are that, uh, that's that been occurring across the south. Well, the upper pattern's pretty well stabilized. And you can just kind of see here on the upper air this deep trough along the east coast and the flow from the north northwest from eastern canada all the way down into florida and that's brought cool air down pretty far south into the united states but when you have that kind of cold air you don't have severe weather around and the storm prediction center actually pretty much on a break uh, no uh, severe weather being indicated for the next three days and uh, no area of severe weather being indicated even out in their long range into next week, at least for the time being. As far as rainfall is concerned over the next week, uh, we're not looking at a whole lot here through Thursday, uh, through next Friday morning, uh, with about a tenth to a quarter of an inch, uh, and at most a quarter to a half an inch from the eastern half of Pennsylvania down into northeastern New Gen Virginia and on up into Long Island and southern New England. And much of New England is going to be on the dry side here. They're actually going to be in a bit of a sweet spot for a little while with this blocking pattern we have. And some rains are going to be building up eventually as we move into next week across uh, the uh, lower lakes, uh, down into the Tennessee Valley and into the Gulf states uh, as well. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a, a period where we're going to be dealing with blocking out to the east and northeast that's uh, going to... Uh, do what it usually does during the month of April, and that means that we get into occasional stretches of gloom and doom, but not this weekend. The upper trough pulls out, and so does the cold air. We'll start to moderate a bit for Saturday, as we'll have some sunshine and temperatures will get back up into the 50s. Take a look out to, on the upper right, and you see that storm that south of Nova Scotia actually kind of spins its way back west and southwest, and while that storm is out there, some moisture that builds up over the Great Lakes moves southeastward. So I think when we get into Tuesday of next week, we might have to consider the possibility that there could be a little bit of wet weather, but not for Saturday and not for Sunday. Sunday, uh, we could see temperatures upper 50s and low 60s, and we should have uh, no worse than partly sunny skies, I think, uh, with a northerly wind. Uh, the uh, weather should hold on a little longer for Monday, uh, but there will be some clouds approaching. And you can see this weak disturbance with some showers Monday night into Tuesday in parts of Pennsylvania and over New Jersey. Looks like mostly light stuff. And then later next week, as we still have a storm out to the east, so the next one coming eastward is going to have a bit of a traffic jam to get through. And it looks like we'll have clouds arriving on Wednesday and then maybe some rain next Thursday. And that might be kind of on and off rain uh, right into next weekend as a, another low and a cold front develop to our south and move on up to the north. So it, it, blocking patterns in the springtime are not good things. They um, 
uh, unless you're in a in, in in the sweet spot, there's always a, an area that does really well in a blocking pattern. Uh, but the, the Northeast and the Northern Mid Atlantic states seldom are in a good spot here uh, when it comes to uh, weather in the longer term. So a good looking Easter weekend overall. Temperatures today. No higher than upper 30s to low 40s. Maybe a few places push it up to the middle 40s. Then we'll be down in the 20s and low 30s tonight. And back up uh, into the 50s tomorrow and upper 50s to low 60s on Easter Sunday. And no worse than partly sunny skies uh, over the weekend. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631 OmniTrueValue.com, the website, and Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106, and the website is LIHolidayLighting.com. So enjoy the rest of your day and also uh, the weekend, and a happy Easter to all of you as we uh, start to get into the month of April. We'll see what surprises it brings us uh, as we move along, no Joe and Joe weather show tonight or this weekend. Uh, Joe and I will be back taking a bit of a break and we will be back on Monday at 730 Eastern time. Have a great day and a great weekend.